We only average one, and the last time we saw one was in uh, 2013, and since 2000, we've had fewer than 10 August tornadoes. So it's a pretty quiet month for us in the Southern Plains when it comes to severe weather. Thunderstorms tonight rumbling into Chicago. Meantime, watch right here. See these showers and a few embedded thunderstorms at the Panhandle of Oklahoma, southwestern Kansas. They're moving to the east, so there is a chance tomorrow morning, say from Ponca City to Bartlesville to Coffeeville, maybe as far south as Tulsa, that we could have just a quick shower here in the morning, lesser chances down to the southeast, then back to that intense hot sunshine. And we could do this again Friday night into Saturday morning as a few showers pass and we get back to that intense hot sunshine. But each time it rains, it adds just that little bit of humidity into the air. And then on Sunday, there's just an isolated chance, uh, some showers and then maybe out to the east, closer to the Arkansas border, a better chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms. Today we had a 100 degree day, the sixth time now. This summer we've seen 100 degree days. We typically have more 90 degree days, of course. We average 66 and so far this uh, summer we've had 53 uh, 90 degree days. Jay's had 30 and so has Vanita. So it's been a little cooler off to the northeast. Bixby's had 50 90 degree days and Tahlequah and McAllister have been in the 40 degree uh, 90 degree range and Pawnee's had about 50 and the, the king so far this summer is Hollis in southwestern Oklahoma nearly 70 90 degree days. So more than two months of the summer there has been embedded in some very hot weather. 92 right now at Tulsa International Airport, south winds at six miles an hour. It's a little cooler at Tulsa Jones along the river. The temperature is, in fact, 10 degrees cooler in some of the lower lying areas close to the river. Overnight tonight, 80 in Tulsa, a sauna like night with south winds at about five miles an hour. Up to the north, Coffeyville 76, Bartlesville around 75. And I've thrown in that rain chance, especially up to the north and northwest of Tulsa. Winds calm. And then to, tonight, 75 in Wagner, 76 at Muskogee. Most of us stay dry overnight and it could even be clear down to the south of Interstate 40. And then during the day tomorrow, morning shower possible, uh, rain for some of us at 7 a.m., showers coming to an end by 9 a.m. Then we're at 93 at noon as we go into that heat advisory between noon and 9 tomorrow, and 98 at 5 p.m. It'll feel like it's about 108, partly cloudy hot tomorrow night. So high temperatures behind the rain. Paul Huska 98, Sky took 98 prior up to 98 tomorrow. Tahlequah around 99. The lesser chances of rain offer up some higher temperatures, 100 in Shakota and Muskogee tomorrow, and also 101 at Poto, McAllister, and Holdenville. So if you don't get any rain tomorrow, it really heats back up. And then again, like I said, Saturday morning, a 40% chance of rain. That's in the morning, 98 the high. Then 96 on Sunday, maybe an isolated thunderstorm in the afternoon. And again, on Monday with a high around 97. And maybe by next Thursday, we see the heat just break down just a little bit to get us into the middle 90s. Uh, that's not a lot. It's a little, but that's our lot in life. So we'll take. <laughs> Thanks for the relief. <laughs> that's right. Well, hey, any chance of rain is a good one this Yeah, exactly. Time.